<laughs> hello, 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 hello. I, I am so excited. Truly, I am. Um, what I found is that the last time I did a live from Stories with Keishan, they have since changed how to make that happen. So I am now live. And I'm pretty excited to be going live right now because so much has happened since the last time Stories with Keishan did anything. So let me see where I am. Mm, okay, I'm going to have to go back. I love it. I love it. But I am live. I am live. What I find, what happened to me one time I was doing a live and I don't even see it on here. Let's try this. There we go. So let's share. Okay. All right. So this is where I am. I am so excited to be here. Like I said, I was going to jump on and do a live on today, which is Thursday, because Stories with Keishan is back. <laughs> I am so excited about what I've done in terms of where I started with Stories with Keishan to where I am today. Um, I feel blessed. Uh, to be able to still be in this vein with Stories with Keishan, Ordinary People with Extraordinary Lives. So what happened was the end of last year, the end of 2022, I was in this space where I was really trying to figure out, you know how you think that you are heading in a specific direction and you're trying and trying and trying and it just doesn't seem like it's going to, you're going to push through or it just seems like you get weary or you just feel like, you know what? I really don't like this all that much. That's exactly where I was. I was in a space where I was doing something thinking that I was supposed to be doing something when in actuality I needed to be doing what I'm doing now, which is stories with Keishan, ordinary people with extraordinary lives. And I started to get into this space of, I was talking about disruption, disrupting HR, disrupting leadership, and disrupting you. And at first, it was just disrupting leadership, disrupting HR. And then all of a sudden, as I started to evaluate what I was disrupting, I'm like, wait a minute. If I'm in human resources or if I'm in leadership, I still need to be the one who's being disrupted. I need to be looking at things differently. I have to be the one to assess where I am and where I want to go. And I have to be passionate about it. And these are all the things that were so funny to me because I was sharing with people what I thought they needed to do when in actuality, I needed to do it. And it's funny how God works. You think, and I've heard so many times preachers will say, or uh, people who are sharing and they, they got something they want, to, they want to share with somebody, but then they stop and it's like, wow, that really was for me. That really wasn't for anybody else, but really for me. So I was talking about disrupting HR, disrupting leadership. And then I started saying, wait a minute. I'm talking about me. I got to disrupt myself. I have to disrupt where I am. I have to disrupt what I'm doing. I have to disrupt my mindset. And 
get into a space where I'm thriving, in a space where I'm passionate, in a space where... Have you ever watched somebody... I'll, I'll just use poetry, where they're talking or a spoken word. They're sharing a word. They have a message. I've heard people with music in the background, and I've heard people without music in the background. As I've listened to people in the spoken word space, what I find the most engaging are individuals who actually speak with from their heart, speak with passion, speak from a place of confidence and authority, speak from a place that comes from within and it's authentic. And everything that I was doing, I felt like it was forced and it wasn't authentically who I am. And so I said, I gotta stop faking the funk. And I wasn't really faking the funk, I was just doing what I thought I was supposed to be doing because that's what I was hearing. So Stories with Keishan is back. And over the, from, from 2019 to current, I have had the pleasure, the privilege. I have, Stories with Keishan has grown. At first, there was just maybe, I don't know, the United States and I think the United Kingdom, those were the first areas, countries that, that Stories with Keishan was being listened to. As the year progressed and as I started interviewing more guests, my listenership grew from, from those two countries. Last I checked, Stories with Keishan had been listened to in more than 26 countries. And I don't know even how these countries are finding Stories with Keishan, but the stories, I've been told that the stories that have been shared by individuals on Stories with Keishan have spoken to a lot of people. They've been... I don't want to say heart-wrenching, but definitely engaging, um, some tear-jerkers, and some celebrations, some wins. And with Stories with Keishan, although there may be some type, or, or, or seemingly some type of tragedy or some type of, I don't want to even say tragedy, but in life, we all face challenges. In life, we have hurdles that we have to overcome. Some of the hurdles are physically, some of the hurdles are financially, some of the hurdles are mentally, some of them are relationally. But when we get on the other side of the hurdle, that's where it gets the most exciting. And that's what I will be bringing again in 2023. I have interviewed people who have lost loved ones, whether it was through some type of health issue or through some type of violent act. I have interviewed authors. I have interviewed individuals who really have been resilient in their space, been resilient in what they've overcome. And one of the, the scriptures that ties to stories with Keishan is Revelations 11 and 12. We overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony. If you don't share your story, you never know who. Let me just take all that back. Your, what, what anybody goes through, the, the situation that anybody goes through, it really isn't for them anyways. It's always for somebody else. It's to help somebody get through whatever they've experienced or what they seem is unbearable or it seems like they're going to be stuck in that space forever. 
that's what Stories with Keishan is all about. So I've interviewed authors. I've interviewed individuals who've overcome substance abuse. And actually, Stories with Keishan hasn't released all of the interviews that have taken place. So there are a couple pretty significant interviews that have taken place that have not been released. But everything is moving. I am moving Stories with Keishan, the audio podcast, to a podcast platform and Stories with Keishan, the video podcast, to YouTube. There is a YouTube channel for Stories with Keishan. It's under my name, Keishan Newton. And so I encourage you to subscribe to Stories with Keishan or subscribe to Keishan Newton on YouTube. I have had the pleasure of already speaking with people, who, interviews that are up and coming this month and at least the first quarter of 2023 uh, from entrepreneurs, from, I mentioned authors, there's a, 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 a dynamic lady out of Pennsylvania who has written, who has entered a short story, a short movie into, I believe it was the Sundance Film Festival last year, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure it was last year. And so this, this is the, the caliber of guests that will be on Stories with Keishan. A couple of entrepreneurs in the South, uh, who have really made headway in areas that I had never even imagined um, from the construction industry um, and just some other surprises that I won't tell at all, as well as playwrights um, and producers and directors and all of that kind of stuff. So that's what where Stories with Keishan is going in 2023. There are, are so many people that I see on Facebook, on social media, who have businesses, who want to take their business to the next level. Stories with Keishan is a platform to help you do that. I have subscribed, and actually, um, in addition to sharing Stories with Keishan on Facebook, I am going to utilize every social media platform that I have from LinkedIn to uh, TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok to Instagram. I have Pinterest. I haven't used it too much, so I don't know if I'll use it. Um, and then, of course, Facebook. So that is another vehicle to get your story out. Every entrepreneur, I believe, started a business for a reason. They say that necessity is the mother of invention. I'm sure that these individuals who started their businesses, there, there was a necessity. It was necessity. It was a necessity for them to start that business. Like for me, what I'm doing with Stories with Keishan, I have to do it. It's a necessity for me to do it. Not to mention uh, the book books that I've authored. Um, I have a, a three-part series that is in the works right now. Um, it'll be out. However, this is not a pro product that I'll be selling. I will definitely give it away because it's inspirational, it's transformational, it's inspiring, it's all, it's all of what you need to get you through a month, get you through a week, get you through a day, get you through to the point where you are like, yes, I can do this. It's all about motivation and inspiration and transformation. And that three-part series 
book that I have is going to do just that. It's going to inspire you. It's going to motivate you and it's going to transpire you. That is up and coming. I'm guessing the next quarter of the year. Like I said, it's in the works. But again, that's what's happening with Stories with Keishan. If you have a business, if you have a book, if you think that you have a story that somebody needs to hear, let me know. Reach out to me, DM me, let me know. I'd love to have a conversation with you. And let me make this clear. Everybody who has a business, Stories with Keishan is not for everybody, but it is for those people who it's for. So I'm not offended for those who don't reach out, but for those who do reach out, it's supposed to happen. And I may reach out to some people because I think it may be a good fit. But Stories with Keishan is definitely going to be um, looking to partner with like-minded individuals. So I believe that is all that I wanted to share. I just wanted to jump on real quick, do this live, let you know that Stories with Keishan, and, and I will be having release at some of the podcast interviews will be live and some will be pre-recorded because depending on schedules, we may not be able to do it live, but whoever those individuals are that I'm connecting to, I believe that their story, I believe what they have to say is important enough that I flex with their schedule as well. So that is what I wanted to share of where Stories with Keishan is going from the beginning to where we are. And I just want to give a shout out, a, a couple of shout outs. Stories with Keishan was actually, I wasn't planning on doing what I'm doing now. I was co-hosting a radio program with J.R. Pittman. And Chad Cashman is was the producer. And we would always have these guests come on and I would ask these questions because I'm like, well, wait a minute. I didn't want to just be quiet. So I would ask the question. And I just kept doing it more and more and more. And I was actually encouraged to start a podcast because long after the show ended or long after that segment ended and we were uh, playing music, we continued the dialogue, we continued the conversation. And that's when it really got, got good. And, and Chad would always say, save it for the show, save it, save it for the, save it for the show, save it for us to go on air. And for those of you who have interviewed individuals and you're looking for that spontaneity you you want to hear the spontaneity you want to hear the unrehearsed questions response or responses to questions you want to hear the authenticity of what somebody has to say know that when you try to duplicate it you try to repeat it you try to recreate that same energy behind that response it doesn't always work so then you're, you have to try and make it sound as good and, you know, it loses the spice a little bit. It gets watered down. And so Chad would say, Keishan, you need to start a podcast. And I'm like, ah, what's a podcast? I don't know how to do a podcast. And so he helped me with it. And like I said, this, this was in 2019. And from then, I, I was a little reluctant to let go. And I thought, dang, I need Chad. I need Chad. And he was just letting me fly. He was like, oh, Keishan, you got this. So I just want to give a shout out to JR, first of all, for even saying yes to me being on the radio with him, with Ignite Radio. Check it out. Um, I think it's still up. Uh, you can stream it or you can look for it. Just, just check out Ignite Radio. And then also to Chad, because Chad was really the push behind me getting comfortable in front of a camera, talking with people, allowing my voice to be heard audibly, but also solo. So um, I said all that to say this, that's how Stories with Keishan was birthed. And now 
I'm at the point where I'm looking to take it up a notch. So those individuals, those entrepreneurs, those um, authors, uh, just individuals who are making an impact, um, just be, just, just be looking. Uh, I may reach out to you. And then, of course, where it all started with Dr. Vicki Harris and uh, Malik Greer and Tanya Moyer and uh, Mona Clark, Eric James, Dukem Huff, um, uh, Tamara Gooch. Uh, I'm trying to think of other people. Robin Wilson, uh, Ina Friday. Um, Deanna Friend, uh, Latasha McLaughlin, um, Jean Baker, Noah Baker, um, Kim LaMontagne, uh, Tamaya Davis. I'm sure I'm missing somebody, not on purpose. Um, Cornell Friday, uh, Rodney Booker, um, those are some of the people that I've interviewed with Stories with Keishan. And I, like I said, I'm sure I'm missing somebody. So charge it to my head and not my heart. I did not want to, I didn't write down any names. I just wanted to pretty much free flow it. So it's free flown um, or flown or however you want to say it. So again, Stories with Keishan, Ordinary People with Extraordinary Lives is definitely disrupting HR, disrupting leadership and disrupting you. If you have a story that has disrupted in some capacity, it's disrupted maybe your life, disrupted um, somebody else's life in a positive way, or caused you to think differently that brought you to a greater understanding or purpose. We need to hook up. We need to connect. DM me. Let's get connected. 2023 is all about sharing information to help people become free. Thank you so much for tuning in. More will be coming from Stories with Keishan, Ordinary People with Extraordinary Lives. My name is Keishan. I am your human resource. And again, I'm disrupting HR, disrupting leadership, and disrupting you. Stay tuned. God bless.